This video sequence demonstrates a method of securing solar panel brackets to a slate-clad structured insulated panel roof. A SIP roof is similar to a flat-boarded roof but with one major exception, there are no underlying rafters to provide a secure anchorage for solar PV brackets. In the construction illustrated here, vertical counter battens are firmly screwed in place to support the horizontal timber laths. The cross-section of the SIP consists of rigid insulation foam bonded between two layers of OSB, oriented strand board. Although immensely strong overall, a SIP panel presents particular difficulties when attaching brackets that are likely to have a high loading. In the case of attaching solar panels, simply driving a couple of wood screws through the bracket holes into the SIP surface will not provide a secure fixing. Unlike a rafter there is only a thin cross section of timber available to grip the screw. There are a number of options that can overcome this issue. If there is clear access to the underside of the roof panel, a very secure fixing can be achieved by fitting a long bolt completely through the SIP panel and securing with a large diameter washer and captive nut. Sometimes used in the USA are proprietary expansion bolts that penetrate through the top layer of OSB and open out into the insulation. Alternatively, a reliable way of attaching high loads to the surface of a SIP is to spread the load over a wide surface area of the OSB. A thick batten or board secured with multiple well-spaced wood screws provides a very secure foundation for any load-bearing anchor. This image depicts a mock-up of battens and counter battens on a typical SIP panel roof. To aid easy disassembly of the temporary test panel, a few slate tiles have been secured with wood screws, but the bulk are just loosely laid in position. The following sequence demonstrates a reliable method of securely attaching an RH501 Rhino roof hook to a SIP panel. The following items are needed to complete the attachment of each bracket. An RH501 Rhino roof hook. A Genius Roof Solutions Solar Flash Slate Refit Kit. 2 off, M6A2 stainless steel coach bolts of suitable length, 2 off, M6A2 stainless steel locking nuts, 2 off, 6mm A2 wood screws 80mm long and 4 off, 6mm A2 wood screws 50mm long. 1 bespoke plywood mounting block 200mm by 130mm and the same thickness as the gap between the underside of slate battens and the surface of the SIP panel, in this case 25mm thick. Two holes are drilled at 6mm diameter and the RH501 roof hook is attached to the plywood block, using the coach bolts and locking nuts as shown. A number of slates will need to be removed at the location where the RH501 bracket is attached. It is important to select a spot on the roof that coincides somewhere between two vertical battens to allow fitting of the plywood mounting block. The position of the vertical battens can be estimated using a metal detector to find fixings that don't correspond to copper clouts that secure the slates. Any point horizontally along the corresponding slate batten is OK provided there is space underneath for the mounting block. In this example, position X is the chosen location for the first RH501 roof hook. Being a natural product, it is important to mark each slate, as they will have been graded and sized to suit their individual location on the roof. Slates A and B need to be removed first using a conventional ripper tool, or preferably using a dedicated slate nail saw to minimize damage. The majority of the copper clout heads for slates C and D are then accessible, likewise all of slate E. 
There is now sufficient access to slot the plywood block under the slate batten. Ensure the bracket assembly is in the optimum position, then drill a 3mm pilot hole through both batten and into the plywood mounting block. This is to ensure that the slate batten is not split and weakened when driving in the screws. Drive a 6mm, 80mm long wood screw completely through, batten, plywood mounting block, and the SIP OSB. Repeat the process of drilling a 3mm pilot hole and inserting a 80mm long wood screw on the other side of the mounting block. The bracket assembly is now firmly locked between the underside of the slate batten and the surface of the SIP panel. For added security, drill four, widely spaced, 3mm, diameter pilot holes in the mounting block. Finally drive in four, 6mm, 50mm long wood screws. The bracket assembly is now firmly attached to the SIP panel roof, and the process of replacing slates can begin. Slate E needs to be replaced first, after being marked out and profiled with an angle grinder to suit the bracket. Slate E can then be nailed in place with copper clouts. Making sure the foam insert is in place, position the solar flash, then nail it in place along with one compensation hook as shown. Slate C and Slate D can now be marked off and profiled to fit round the solar flash. C secured with two copper clouts, D with a single clout with the slate supported by the compensation hook. Position two hall hooks as shown, and then nail in place. Relocate slate B, by sliding up and across. Secure by pulling down the hall hook using the supplied hall pull. Reposition slate A and again secure with the hall hook. The installation of the RH501 Rhino roof hook is now complete. Different locations on the roof may dictate an alternate sequence of slate removal compared to the version illustrated here. If you are not familiar with using the Genius Roof Solutions Solar Flash Slate Refit Kit, it will be worth your time to carry out a dummy run like this one, before you commit to detaching tiles high up on a roof.